Hey everybody, I'm Jeannie. Welcome back to Magenta Tarot Messages. We're going to be doing something a little different today. Both my readings were a little different. Just getting future energy for you, vague future energy. I want to pull for um, future love energy for the Virgos. I've already shuffled for this and you already know what it is. So let's just begin. We need to have two segments for your position. <clears throat> And then two segments here for your person's position, future person's position for Virgo. We have, you will be playing a different role. And pleasure with a close friend for your two positions here. And for your future person's position, Virgo, we are having... Someone will gossip about all of your secrets, okay? Um, in dealing a relationship with a woman, okay? So take it as it resonates, woman or man can switch that energy around. But uh, this person, the person you could be dealing with, could be dealing with another woman here. Um, but we'll see how that plays out into the reading future love for virgo we're just gonna pull three cards for each section future love for virgo knight of coins taking things slow purposeful the hierophant energy and the queen of wands okay future love for virgo we have the ace of swords the seven of swords and the Empress, future love for Virgo's person. Be the Knight, King of Coins, the Fool card, the Four of Wands, future energy for Virgo's person. We have the King of Cups, the Ten of Coins, and the Tower. All right, let's tap into this energy here. Okay, starting with your section here, we'll, we have you will be playing a different role. Okay, and then we have the Knight of Coins, the Hierophant Energy. And the Queen of Wands energy. Okay, so starting off with the Nine of Coins, it talks about um, things coming in at a slow pace, being diligent, um, taking things slow paced and responsible here. The Hierophant, it talks about spiritual wisdom. This could have been uh, some wisdom that you have gotten from past relationships, Virgo, that you need to take something slow here. And with the Queen of Wands energy, I feel like you will be playing a different role because now you will be in this more confident, um, confident, charismatic energy here, knowing that you aren't rushing into anything, and there's no strings attached, knowing that um, you are playing it wise <laughs> here for you, Virgo. Okay, so with this energy, we're going to clarify the Knight of Coins energy here. Um, I'm getting that this is a different role than what you were playing in the past with dating. I feel like there has been experiences in the past what you had with dating that has taught you lessons. Now you listen more to spiritual wisdom. Um, you, there could be religious factors now. Okay, because we have this hat energy here and I know there is religions that wear hats, um, cover their head. So I'm getting Virgo, there is definitely something of religious factors that could be helping you play a different role here. Um, we have authority and yeah, nine of coins energy. So I do feel like to keep control of yourself, to have authority of your love life and the things that you have taken time and learned from Virgo, that you will be a little slow paced in the future, that you will um, want to come towards relationships with a different attitude here. And I do feel like this will be giving you the upper hand. I do feel like this is some great energy to be in, especially with relationships. Um, I do feel like there's like a factor of the unknown when dealing with new people where you have to give them a time period to really show their true colors here. And that is how you stay in control. Allow somebody to show you who they really are before you get in deep with them um, here, Virgo. 
We have the Hierophant in Harmony. Okay, so with this energy, Hierophant energy, structure, spiritual, religious energy here in the Harmony card, I do feel like there is a there's a period of harmony. There's a, like um harmony that you get from taking a spiritual path, like um, telling this person you're not gonna have sex with them until blase spliff. Um, letting this person know that you are celibate. Letting this person know that you won't have sex until marriage. There's spiritual factors that you are going to be uh, placing into your life that allows you to have more harmony. That brings more harmony and peace towards you in some type of way. I do feel like this could be. Um, due to past relationships where you may have opened up, Virgo, and um, given to yourself before a serious relationship here. And now you just want harmony, you want peace, you want things to work out in a different way. So you're moving differently. With the Queen of Wands, we have extremism, okay? Um, with the extremism card, you can see this man is trying to like force this like woman to look at a piece of paper. I feel like there is no forcing the Queen of Wands, all right? There is no um, extremism. There's no getting over on the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands takes action on things that she is confident about. The Queen of Wands is okay with being independent, single. The Queen of Wands um, finds peace in uh, their singlehood. So I feel like with the dating energy that you'll be taking on, um, in the future, nobody can, I was getting love bomb. Nobody can love bomb you here with the bird bombing down. No one can love bomb you here. No one can, um, sweet talk you anymore. There's no going to extremes with you. I feel like you will be, um, in control of your relationships by avoiding the extremes. Maybe avoiding the extremes of, uh, dating norms here, like going to the extremes of, being promiscuous or going to the extremes of being a hermit <laughs> you feel me not doing anything at all so i feel like there is an in-between energy here where you are going to be confident when you step back out into dating all right we have dog and close up friend energy i do feel like there's a factor of getting pleasure with friends um you could find somebody through a friend um here with the Ace of Swords, there is some type of breakthrough after guarding yourself here, Virgo, that leads to uh, abundance, that leads to happiness, that leads to something fruitful here. With the Ace of Swords, we have drama, okay? <laughs> Cutting through the drama energy for Virgos, there could be some type of drama um, revolving your friends in your future relationship because we have drama and then somebody will gossip here, but this is your person's energy. Um, but I do see there will be some type of uh, drama that you will be uh, breaking through, though. With the Ace of Swords, is a good card to have with the drama that's seen clearly through drama, that's seen clearly through shit, um, that's seen clearly through things that would normally cause drama for you and having breakthroughs. So I feel like Virgo dealing with friends, talking to it, talking to friends about stuff could help you break through a level of drama that you may have with dating um maybe you take things out of proportion in some type of way sometimes or maybe somebody that you're dealing with does or maybe it's some type of action uh reaction to something that causes drama for you i do feel like there will be a breakthrough here okay and then for seven of wands energy talk about guarding we have birth okay birth right above the empress energy which is weird Seven of Wands, I do feel like you will be being birthed out of a guarded energy, Virgo, uh, right? Correlating with the spiritual factors here. I do feel like there's spiritual factors that help guard you and protect you. I feel like you will be birthing something um, from guarding yourself, from protecting yourself, from blocking things that don't uh, align with you, that don't deserve your energy. Okay, and with the Empress card here, we have choice okay i do feel like there is a level of choice there's something that you will be choosing virgo um that will definitely bring towards more abundance and fruitful energy towards you um i do see that you being guarded you breaking through drama you learning from your past mistakes will get you in a better position in the future to really enjoy dating to really have something that um 
comes from dating that is more fruitful, Virgo, um, than w what normally you have been doing. Maybe you have experiences, experienced relationships that were um, not lasted long, that didn't last long, Virgo, that just brought more drama than good. So I do feel like with this energy, you are going to be learning from your past here. With your per future person's energy, we have the King of Coins, the Fool card, and the Four of Wands, okay? Your future person could definitely um, be a fixture here with the King of Coins. The King of Coins is somebody who is permanent. A King of Coins is somebody who is loyal. A King of Coins is somebody who is a provider, a father figure in some type of way. Um, paired with somebody who will gossip about your secrets. People could be telling you about this energy. You have friends here. Um, you could hear something about this person. Okay, you could be getting some type i was just hearing some type of reading okay um but with the king of coins energy paired with the full card here this person is going to be taking a leap of faith okay they're going to be starting over having a new beginning with the four of wands they're in the mood to celebrate i feel like that they, they will want to start over in creating a home this is definitely somebody who creates homes um the king of coins with the four of wands energy is is a homemaker right a structure maker somebody here who is here for a long time not just a good time here for you virgo with the king of coins energy we have organization i can't make this up this person is very organized they are very structural um structural okay <laughs> make sure you heard that right this person is going to want to bring organization, structure into um, maybe your home, their home, and their lives in some type of way. This is somebody who moves um, in a way that is practical and um, organized here, Virgo. This is somebody who will appreciate your spiritual factors, appreciate you being guarded, appreciate you uh, being in this energy that you are in, uh, Virgo. <clears throat> Because with the organization card, this is somebody who likes someone who uh, is organized, likes somebody who will fit in their, uh, their almost like schedule, I heard. This could be a busy person. This could be somebody who has a very good job here. The King of Coins is somebody who is very wealthy here. With the full card, we have Exultion, okay? Um, I do feel like this person is exulting, starting over. Okay, they're going to be very happy about having this new beginning in love, um, being able to start over. This could um, very well be somebody who wants to start over with you, um, but I'm not really seeing any judgment or things that represent past energy here for you, Virgo. Um, but I do feel like this person is going to be excited about having a new beginning. This is a person who is going to take their new beginning seriously, um, want to create a home here with the Four of Wands, want to create something worth celebrating with. This is the type of person that does not want to um, mess around here. They hold themselves and what they're doing at a high standard okay at a high vibration I almost said okay and with practicality i can't make this up practicality in the four of wands is a very practical person i believe i said practical to begin with when i saw this energy um this is a very practical person they're gonna want to take the right steps in order for it to lead to uh, a home in order for it to lead to higher commitment in order to it in order for it to lead towards love in order to lead towards uh, a, a structurally sound love here with the four of wands this is the type of person who does not want to start over in dating but they want to start over in creating a home this is the type of person who wants to date around who wants to just have flings this is the type of person who um is organized exalts and ha holds themselves in a high high esteem in such a way where um they won't accept people who aren't ready to uh you know have a home create a home uh be together this is the type of person i'm hearing no bullshit shit here virgo this is maybe a person who has relationships in the past and they're tired of just looking this is somebody here who's ready to settle down and with the king of coins this is a very loyal energy okay and then we have the king of cups the ten of coins and the tower energy for your person uh, along with dealing a relationship with a woman this woman could be you um, with the King of Cups energy, it talks about humanitarian, it talks about head over heart, it talks about um, 
somebody who was in touch with their feelings but never let their feelings get in the way this is somebody who loves it's, it's a lover energy and with the king of coins we have enthusiasm this person is very enthusiastic enthusiastic about love enthusiastic about doing the right things um creating the right energy and with the king of cups the ten of coins and the tower energy this is somebody here Who is willing to give almost give to their detriment here with the tower card it's almost like this person is willing to give to break some type of foundation that they may have in the past they may have dealt with somebody in the past where they couldn't get over a threshold Virgo where they couldn't get over something here but this person is willing to contribute I feel like this person will be getting some type of long term could this this person is getting something that um they're willing to give to you almost like help contribute with you and with the tower card this could be um breaking the foundations that they may have had with other people in the past this is giving me that somebody here is definitely willing to contribute all of their abundance all of their energy all of their love towards somebody else to really get over and break the past routines break the past molds here and with the enthusiasm with the king of cups this is somebody who loves is a lover right loves love this could be somebody who is um really into lover stories lover movies here um happy endings with the ten of coins energy we have quarrel okay um quarrel energy really talks about a fight here there definitely could be some type of past energy this person was dealing with um they may have had children with this person they may have to do something with this person in order to break the foundation here with the tower card but i do see that foundation with this past person breaking away um ending permanently here with the tower um I do see with the quarrel energy and the ten of coins, uh, there could be things that they have to fight like in courts, um, contributing to this energy, uh, paying this person, doing something here. This person may be trying to fight this person from leaving, but with the tower card, it is an ending here permanently for this energy. And we have flattery with the tower card. Okay, so there definitely could be <clears throat> there definitely could be people who still want to um, flatter with this person, this queen of, I don't know what's called her a queen. This woman up here could be a little two-faced, okay? Could be trying to flatter this person into staying because of who they are, what they do, um, how they move here, Virgo. But with the Tower card, I feel like this person is going to break this, uh, it's like pop in this bitch's bubble. Um, pop in this bitch's bubble in such a way where they can't come back from this. Somebody is really going to set the tone with somebody after they meet you, when they meet you, when they realize that this is serious here, Virgo. Um, I feel like there is no need to worry about that energy at all. This person will fight their own battles and they will win. All right. Okay. So we're going to get some mystic black rose clarifiers for your energy and your future person's energy we've bottled up party energy toxic nasty behavior delusions and then showing validations and truth i'm loving this energy Okay, so for you, Virgo, you'll be playing a different role because there are some things that um, may have deceived you in the past. You may have fallen for illusions. You may have um, kept yourself inside, not given, um, been a little bit of a hermit. Um, you may have, because you have fallen for deceptions, you've fallen for illusions in the past. But I do see you playing a different role and learning from that mistake. 
with the party energy here, having fun, risky, fun with friends, and then we have pleasure with a close friend. So I do feel like you are going to be taking that risk to have fun with a friend. This could put you in a scenario where you're meeting this person, meeting some people, but just putting yourself out there in some type of way, having fun, and then meeting somebody here, Virgo. For your person's energy, we have toxic, unhealthy, poison, delusion, nasty behavior. And then we also have someone will gossip about your secrets. So I feel like there is there may be gossip surrounding this person virgo there may be some unhealthy poisonous gossip about this person in their old nasty ways here virgo but then we have the validation uh proof finding the truth so you will be able to find the truth out about this behavior and that it, it was just gossip you will have proof validation and confirm about another woman and that there will be an ending here with a tower card i do feel like this is a open honest person who is practical and organized virgo and they will not um keep things secret from you i feel like this person is an open book and willing to explain and willing to go the mile here for themselves and their future love this is what i got here for the virgos if you resonated with anything here please give me a like comment down below subscribe to your channel to see what's coming up next for the virgos and y'all already know i'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching peace